Well, welcome to Villa Scoligato. Uh, it's my design home of a lifetime. It's something I always had thoughts about and be between myself and Phil came up with a, the actual floor plan and made it something happening and it developed into a beautiful home that it is. Scoligato is Italian for disconnected. Uh, so when you come into the villa, you just disconnect your phone and you disconnect it. So scoligato, it's it's the quiet and peacefulness of the environment, the beauty of the of the lot and the river, the scenery, the birds. It's an actual, truly a treehouse with the birds and the river flowing beneath it, with the fish jumping and uh, iguanas running. It's a very natural process here. Uh, the home was designed uh, to be utilized all on one level living so that I have it up for the breezes. It, it sits directly in north northeasterly pattern of the wind so that we always have natural flow. The flow is through the opening and closing of windows and the feature is the cupola atop which actually draws the hot air out of the home up and through and out. Uh, it's been working wonderfully. No air conditioning has been needed so far. That and fans, of course. Uh, with one level of living, I, in an upper level, I designed it also to have the capability of an installation of an elevator, a lift, very simple, just a matter of removing tile and placing it in so that one can come into the garage with a car, walk through, uh, if a wheelchair or handicap, uh, you just can access the, the uh, lift and come on up and have one level living. Uh, if not, it's one second level, you get a lot of good Stairmaster work <laughs> up and down the stairs. But uh, designed specifically with all the craftsmanship and the quality of the woods from Belize. Everything is done, the cabinetry, the woodwork is all Belizean woods and beautiful. Uh, with the flow and the pattern that it's designed, it actually has the, the porches that go all around so that you have a complete access to the outside as well. And the screened in area where we're sitting in now is also a beautiful spot to be uh, for the, uh, evenings and nighttime. Uh, can also be used for sleeping areas here. The home was designed that way. There's a couple of Belizean sleeping porches, we call them. So the home is two bedrooms and the lower level is set so that it can be if the person is uh, uh, physically challenged and needs a nurse, someone that way, they can live downstairs in their own uh, bedroom, bath and seating area. Um, it can be utilized many different purposes that way. Here we have the example of all the beautiful woods that we use throughout the home. All the cabinetry in the kitchen was handmade and designed by a local young man, young carpenter man, gave him a job and he's done a beautiful job with it. Uh, built around the 1940s original cast iron farmer's sink, so that's what makes it a farmer kitchen as well. The lighting is, and throughout the whole home, is done with the low LED lighting, so that because the home is fully solar, there's little minimal draw, but yet we have maximum light for any tasks or any works that you are doing. Again, the good old-fashioned breadboards are in there with the thought as well as the easy and e uh, flexibility of cabinets down drawers for those that may be not wanting to reach. Okay, now we're in the master bathroom, which again was designed with the flow through design as well as all the beautiful lighting that we have, again, keeping with the solar. And all of the water here as well is used from the collected wa rainwater that we do from the catchment of the home. It has 100,356 gallons, I get that memorized, of catchment so that when it rains it goes down and we have beautiful ample water supplies for all your basic washing, laundry, showering, whatever you need, cooking. Uh, however, drinking water, I still use a filtered water. It overlooks the beautiful Carmelita Gardens, all of the balconies. There's some view of the river, almost 360 degrees of the river uh, from whichever angle you're looking at or whichever port you may be on. But uh, it also has been kind of exciting to be able to sit out there, have coffee and watch the development grow. Remembering here as one of the first uh, uh, builders here of the openness, but yet now it's still maintained open, but there's a lot more homes around, <laughs> which is a good thing and it's fun watching it being built that way. But yet you still have the openness of, of the, the countryside and the gardens. 
Well, hopefully you've gotten a good understanding of the beauty of this home as a, as a home versus a house. Uh, the style, the architecture, the craftsmanship, the quality that I've enjoyed living here as we've developed Carmelita Gardens. I'm looking forward to the next generation of people coming into the home and being able to enjoy the beauty of it as well. Concrete construction, stucco construction. She's going to be here for a long time.